talked about the illumination uh, slit lamp examination now we are talking about methods of illumination the methods of illumination are uh, are seven types of illumination we have already discussed about slit lamp examination in our first part now we are going to exp uh, understand about seven types of illumination what are the seven types of illumination the first illumination is the diffused illumination you know what is these kind of illumination whatever we will put uh, in slit uh, in the eye of a of a subject whatever we will put a uh, illumination in an eye of a subject that illumination is known as the kind of slit lamp examination illumination okay so diffused illumination is a beam of light which is given used to examine the anterior segment of an eye we use this diffused illumination for the examine examination of anterior segment of our eye that is our front part okay now the direct illumination direct illumination is a kind of thing which is a broad one and a slit lamp and microscope is focused on same area to be examined jab bhi uh, whenever you want to examine the eye of a subject then with the direct illumination then you have to put this thing this illumination in focus on that same area which is used to be examined general examination in direct illumination is changes in corneal stroma or epithelial changes you can see that the indirect one the third one is indirect one which is position beside the area to be examined corneal microcyst and vacuoles this means whenever we you need to see the small particles which are on cornea then you can see that the indirect illumination now the fourth one is retro illumination retro illumination is the slit lamp examination is done on iris and fundus or, or your microscope is being focused on cornea also to examine the corneal edema neovascularities microcyst and infiltrates these thing you can do with retro illumination you can see these things on google also what kind of illumination and what shape are there for this the specular ref reflection is the fifth one the angle between slit lamp in this we just make a angle increased by 60 degree which is making the angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection examine we just examine the changes in endothelium like polymegathism guttate etc now the sclerotic scatter sclerotic scatter is just the scattering of light with illumination which works on the principle of total internal reflection slit lamp being focused on temporal limbus passes through cornea outlines the subtle stromal or epithelial opacities which may lie in its path okay so sclerotic scatter is this now the seventh or last one is oscillatory illumination of cope oscillatory illumination of cope is just a kind of illumination which is which will oscillate okay beam is given to an oscillatory movement by which it is often possible to see minute object minute objects you can say or filaments especially in aqueous 